In this video, we're going to talk about idioms. Idioms represent 8% of the SAT writing questions, and they're one of the tougher questions to deal with. So if you're scoring high, but you just can't quite get to that perfect score, idioms are probably what's standing in your way. Now, there are 14,000 idioms in the English language, so we're not going to try to teach you all of them today, but it'd be a great idea for you to memorize the idioms that I show you on the next few slides. A couple things to look for that will tell you you're dealing with an idiom question. The vast majority of idiom questions show up on the error ID section, where you've got to choose which underlined portion of the sentence is wrong. That's because they tend to be two words, and one of those words is almost always a preposition. So if you see a preposition, ask yourself if it's used in the normal way. If it isn't, and you know how to change it to the right preposition, odds are that is an idiomatic mistake. So make sure you memorize the idiom, idioms on the next few slides, and make sure that you always question two-word answers and, that have prepositions, and make sure that they're not idiomatically incorrect. So here are examples of some common idioms. So they'll often on the test say preoccupied in, when you should say preoccupied with, or determine about, when it simply should be determined, or think of it think of it that instead of think of it as. So I know these are a little bit cryptic, but the best way to, to, to be able to do well on idiom questions is just to memorize these idioms and make sure that you're looking for them. There aren't that many more that you're going to see on the test besides what you see on this slide and then on the next slide here. So a couple ones that you see a lot actually. Consistent to is consistent with. And in a place that should be in, in a place where. So again, good idea to memorize these. And one thing that's it's a subtle point, but if you see something that you're just not familiar with, that doesn't mean it's idiom. If it's an idiomatic mistake, it should have a preposition, and it should be something that you know how to change. Just because you're unfamiliar with a, a part of a sentence doesn't mean it's wrong. So don't use idiom as an excuse to just pick things that you've never written yourself. Make sure you know how to fix it if you're going to pick it as an idiomatic error. So let's look at two examples. The principal of the school talked at me for most of ninth period. This should say the principal of the school talked to me. So the choice would be to pick talked at as incorrect. In this next example, although many people are conscious of the prevalence of poverty in the world, much of the population is not conscious about current attempts to address the problem. Now clearly it's either conscious of or conscious about, and in this case the error is conscious about. And you should know that that should be conscious of if you're, if you're sure that conscious of is correct. So I hope you learned a little bit about idiom in this video. Remember, this is one of the more challenging topics on the SAT writing, and it does require a good deal of memorization. So hunker down and try to memorize the idiomatic list that we gave you. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.